Hello, friends. Welcome to Jean and Renee's Travel Adventures. You know, in the United States, milk is found in the refrigerated section. In Mexico, you can find some milk in the refrigerated section, but the majority of the milk is found at room temperature on shelves within the grocery store. Why is this? And in case you're wondering, this is real cow's milk I'm talking about. It's not watered down milk, nor is it powdered milk. This is real moo cow's milk. The difference comes in the pasteurization process. Evidently, there are four different ways that you can pasteurize milk. First way is a low temperature method. Now that process takes the longest amount of time. The milk is boiled at a low heat uh, to get all the bacteria that is present gone. It's pasteurized at about 145 degrees or 63 degrees Celsius. That pasteurization process takes about a half of an hour. Second method is using a high temperature to kill the bacteria. That temperature is about 161 degrees Fahrenheit or 72 degrees Celsius. Using the higher temperature, it takes less time. It takes about 15 seconds. The third method is called ultra-pasteurization. Now, that's what they do in the United States and in Canada. With that process, they superheat the milk at 280 degrees Fahrenheit or 138 degrees Celsius for about two seconds. That milk must be refrigerated. It lasts in the refrigerator for about two or three months unopened. Once you open the milk, you expose it to bacteria in the air, and it will spoil in about a week or two, even though it's kept in the refrigerator. The fourth method, that is the method used for all of these boxed milks that are kept at room temperature in the grocery stores in Mexico. It is called ultra-high temperature pasteurization. They superheat the milk to between 280 degrees and 302 degrees Fahrenheit or 138 to 150 Celsius. It takes about one to two seconds. The packaging is airtight. It's light sealed. It can be stored at room temperature. Get this for up to a half of a year. Once you open the milk, you expose it to the bacteria that's present in the air, and it's going to spoil in a week or two just like any other milk. So many brands here in the grocery stores in Mexico, but we've kind of settled on Santa Clara. Santa Clara is a Mexican dairy. It's been around since 1924. Since 2012, they've been part of the Coca-Cola brand, as is CL, one of the largest bottled water brands in Latin America, and Monster Drinks since 2016. They actually have, Santa Clara has some creameries in Guadalajara, and you can get artisan ice cream, yogurt, bistro sandwiches, that kind of thing. But where they shine the brightest is in the local milk section of the supermarket. Now, where we're from in the U.S., we're used to our brand of milk coming in categories of skim milk, 1% milk, 2% milk, or whole milk. With Santa Clara, your choices are lactose-free milk, light lactose-free milk, whole milk, light milk, low-fat milk, plus varieties of drinkable ice cream milk and varieties of drinkable yogurt. Of course, you can always head over to the refrigerated section and get your cold milk, but I suggest trying the different varieties of boxed milk. In Mexico, there are many, many choices, and it's affordable. Most of the one-liter boxes will cost you about 21 to 28 pesos. In the USA, that's a dollar and six cent to a dollar 41 cent. If you're in Canada, that's a dollar 36 to a dollar 82 Canadian dollars. So grab some Oreos or chocolate chip cookies, a glass of cold milk, and enjoy the day. Thank you for subscribing, for watching, for hitting the like button, and for sharing our videos. We so appreciate you. Dios te bendiga, amigos.